Hey YouTube, I'm going to do another uh, update video on my vacuum tube Tesla coil. I've gotten some questions and comments about it. Um, one of the comments uh, was I mentioned a 6 volt um, filament potential and this isn't accurate. In the spec sheet it's uh, listed as 10 volts and actually I'm going to measure it right now just to verify and I'm measuring 10.95 volts AC across the filament of the vacuum tube. And what I've done to take this measurement is I have uh, I've supplied power to my filament transformer and my high voltage transformer that powers the capacitor uh, diode circuit I have here and drives the Tesla coil. I have it on a a variable transformer so I can I wouldn't be able to slowly crank up the power to the Tesla coil. The thing I'd like to do in this video is I'm going to be taking some measurements on the Tesla coil. I've added a current transformer here uh, so which will go to the uh, oscilloscope and we're going to be able to uh, monitor the current coming out of the base of the Tesla coil to ground and also I have uh, attached a or I have a high voltage probe here and I've attached this across the diode and this is a uh, high, my high voltage probe so we're going to be able to, uh, on the oscilloscope, see the power signal that is uh, feeding the tube, and we're going to be able to see the uh, the currents from the oscillating Tesla coil on the oscilloscope. So the current transformer I'm using, and it just goes to one channel of my oscilloscope. This is my high voltage probe and it's going to the other channel of my oscilloscope. I have here a little capacitor to uh, filter out some of the RF noise so you can see the 60 Hertz uh, sine wave uh, signal more clearly. So I'm going to turn off the first channel. What you see here is the 60 hertz uh, sine wave. And this is the pulsed RF that's coming out of the Tesla coil. And you can see how at the peak of the AC power signal, the tube turns on, triggers the uh, oscillator circuit, and then the, uh, the uh, oscillator stops when the uh, caps in our circuit have been discharged, and then the cycle starts again. Okay, so I've done a screen capture of our Tesla coil oscillation. The beginning of a uh, signal to the end and what we've got is uh, I'm measuring the time delta is 600 kilohertz and I believe in a previous uh, my previous video I mentioned that it was around 640 kilohertz so it was close I was off by 40 kilohertz um, so was able to confirm that with the oscilloscope and the current transformer. I've also added a little 3D printed terminal for the Tesla coil.
Now another improvement I'm making on the Tesla coil is I, I've been using this tube for a long time and I now found that there are replacement tubes available. So I just got one of these PV Sane 805 vacuum tubes and I'm going to replace my old vacuum tube with this new vacuum tube. And what I've noticed over the years of using this is performance has degraded over time. So I'm going to see if the the new vacuum tube here uh, will give us a uh, uh, better performance in driving our Tesla coil. Alright, so I've replaced my old vacuum tube with the new PV Sane 805 vacuum tube and we're going to power up the Tesla coil and see if we get a better spark performance. So we definitely see a lot more power delivered to our arc. It was uh, hot enough to um, just begin combustion of our uh, paper clip discharge point. So. so that's my vacuum tube update. Uh, shoot me a comment if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.